up and go, for the Pope, for the Pope. Really? <laughs> yeah. And they look at you like you have three heads. <laughs> yeah. This pot thing's going to work out just nicely. You think it's going to be good? Yeah. i, I got to start smoking that pot again. I'm thinking a ring. Some kind of ring that you got to give the guy something, and he sees the ring and goes, oh, okay. Like a decoder ring? Yeah, something like that. Maybe I have something in my apartment that is the missing piece of some kind of... Right. Some kind of ancient puzzle. Well, somebody has it in their possession, of course, because fate would have delivered it to you years ago for just this moment. Unlike your stupid orange <laughs> juice hand scar, it would actually mean something. So I should look for some kind of... Have you come across any piece of jewelry or hmm. something with an emblem on it that, that you you probably would like, why am I keeping this? I should throw it away, but you just keep it and it's a little weird. Well, I got a uh, shark tooth necklace when I was in the Bahamas over vacation. Yeah, that's... Uh, no. Seemed like just a thing to buy, but maybe that was that was it. You know what probably would have been it? That finger bone necklace that you got years ago. Dude, that's buried. You buried it where? In my parents' backyard. See, you got to dig that up. No way, and am I wear digging that, up. that. No to the way. Bookshop. Of course, it makes <laughs> it makes total sense now. It was always the finger bone. I had a human finger bone necklace, right. yes, that it, Chuck Farnham gave me. Chuck Farnham was selling these things. He actually went to um I know exactly where that is. A I, supplier. I did bury that. Of of bones, of human bones. He called it cannibal wear. And Opie in his sick fascination once again decided he was gonna get one of these things. You wore it for a while, but noticed it stunk. He would sit doing the radio show, sniffing this <laughs> thing all day. To my disgust. He'd hold this finger bone up to his nose and just He'd be sniffing it all day long. Maybe it's a, the missing bone that brings some kind of skeleton to life. Oh. Right, now you're getting a little far-fetched. Why not? <laughs> you think that would be it? But I think it's the bone that you have to wear around your neck to show the guy at the bookstore that's going to then let him know what we need to get rid of the bad karma and the, the, the fetus, the okay. pickled punk. I think you got to dig up the, the finger bone. You know where it is? Yeah, I do. It's still got the leather around it. It's kind of buried in like the pet cemetery section of our backyard. Really? Yeah. Oh, great! You could Old. dig up a cat bone and, and by mistake. The guy's yeah. gonna go. Yeah. That's a cat bone. I can't help you. It could be. Uh, I think it's. Yeah. I think it's buried close to one of my cats that uh, we yeah. buried, or one of the goldfish we lost. Did you bury uh, bury it with the rawhide that tied around your? Oh neck? yeah. Yeah. So yeah. The whole I thing is oh, yeah, yeah, did yeah. you put it in a box or did you just bury it in the dirt? No man, let uh, nature take, the take dirt? its course. All right. Well, it could still. I don't think it decomposed that fast. How long ago did you bury it? Dude, that's years ago, right? Yeah. I'm trying to remember. I'm probably three, four. Oh, maybe. at least. It could be five years ago. I think it's. I think it's five years. Dude, you got to dig it up now <laughs> and put it around your neck, and we got to go to the bookstore. Imagine I, I walk in with like my hair all askew, like Ben, and. And then and I got this necklace around my neck right. that's just rotting and and dirty and. <laughs> but he'll that'll tip him off. The little maggots crawling it, all over. And it. it makes sense because it's not easy. All right, it's not all that difficult, but it's not something sitting around like the scar on your thumb. You got to go back. You got to find where you buried it. You got to dig up this thing that's been gone for years now. It's a human bone, buried. Dig it up. Put it back around your neck. Now we got to go to the bookstore. Now it's all coming together. This makes sense now. So the guy uh, is going to recognize the, the bone necklace? He'll see the bone necklace. Then he'll know what our problem is because this whole thing is tied together. So then he'll get that book that no one has really looked right. for. Right. And then in there will be the instructions how to get rid of this pickled punk and the bad luck that, that it, it has brought. This is beautiful. This is going to work. All right, dig it up. When are you going out? What if I can't find it? You have to. All right, I, I always find it in the movies. I will try to find the uh, the bone necklace. Find it. Opie Potter will be uh, out on Long Island this our weekend. Only hope. <laughs> Can we see the pickle punk today? No, I don't want to look upon it. I don't want to look. I upon just want to make sure anymore. Mars didn't, you know, wreck it by uh, poking it too hard. Dude, don't look at it. Leave it sealed up in the box. Is it still in the box? Do not gaze upon it. I don't think it's cool that we disrespected the pickled punk. What's this wee shit? I didn't <laughs> touch it. I want whatever's in charge of the pickled punk to know. No. Get it out of here. Dude, you're suffocating it. Let it, it in breathe. Here. No. Let no. the pickled punk no. breathe. No. Let it see the Dude, light. Why are you doing this? What? Get it out of here. 
Why is it sealed up like that? Are you guys sending it to the FBI? It's got a rubber band around the box. It says punk this side up with an arrow. What disrespect. The punk has to see. Has to see. Oh, God. No. No. If he sees, then he does. Put the punk back. It's in a box. For some reason, it's got this mystic rubber band around it that holds in. <laughs> it's able to hold him in. You know, usually holds it's in some, all the goodness. It's some chain with an ancient lock of, you know, something that holds it in. And if you take that off, then the evil gets out. This is a rubber band from, right. the, from the supply closet. <laughs> Shouldn't it be some kind of ancient lock where only one person has the key? Dude, that should be in some crafted wooden box with carved emblems on it with some weird lock that's ancient golden lock with a key that is only held by the high priest of blah, 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 blah. Who could just be one of our interns, and we didn't know he was a high priest. It's in a goddamn iPod box with a rubber band around it. What? No wonder it's pissed. We stink as being sorcerers. Years ago, this thing, for years, this thing has been on this earth. This punk, we've been told, is, is could be, could be, it's at least 90 years old, could be over 100 years old. And and it's it's been here on this earth. Think of where it's been, what it's seen, what it's been contained in. And it ends up in 2005 in a, in a, a cardboard box with a rubber band around it. Of course it's pissed. We're not giving it the respect it deserves. That's why I think we have to get it out of the box immediately. No, no. Immediately. Look. And let it, see it some, let it get some sunlight today. It's pissed off, but you got to leave it where it is. You don't just pull it out all pissed. We got to figure you got to dig up that bone. You got to go we got to go to the bookstore. Where's the bookstore? I don't know. That's the part of the mystery. <laughs> We're going to be going into 10 bookstores. With the, and, and and go hello to the counter guy and he's giving me like, can I help you and then you'll you'll just tap the bone with your finger. <laughs> Are the Hardy Boys still working? <laughs> Perhaps you haven't seen this around my neck, sir. That's lovely. What can I help you with? <laughs> yeah. What? How? Uh, I will be so disappointed if somebody doesn't look at, upon that bone around your neck and go, oh, I know what you need. And I just know it's not gonna work because shit like this never works. Maybe we should just, you know, I just, I don't know, to finish this up, maybe we should just come up with our own ceremony and, and hope for the best. It's got to be based on something, though. You know, it's got to be based on some ritual that's tried and true. It's got to be some kind of burial ritual. I think, I think, I don't want to keep, uh, you know, pounding this into the ground, but I think we have to give it back to Andy Gore with some kind of ceremony. Right. Okay. You have to give it back to that. I can't take the responsibility of thinking it needs a burial. Right. No, I agree with you on that. But it's it, this needs to be some type of ceremony, whether it was a burial ceremony or some other kind of a passing of the a passing. Somewhere of along the, the line, the link was broken. Right. So the link was broken when Andy Gore gave it to me. Right. So I have to give it back to Andy Gore. The punk belongs to certain people. It's their fate to possess the punk throughout history. Uh, Andy, of course, is one of those people that is meant to possess the punk. You, on the other hand, were not. Obviously. You weren't meant to. So we bring it back to Andy. So Andy gets it back. And then he'll back. find the, the next person that was really supposed to have this thing. Right. Or actually, that it just happens. Like, how did Andy get it? I don't know. Do you remember? You didn't even get a history of this punk before you got it? You're taking possession of something that's um, probably a century old, Dude, and you didn't get a history like, all right, where did it come from? It's not even a good pickled punk. It's a fine, <laughs> it's a fine punk. It's a fine punk. Shh, Landrew will hear you. There are witches. There are witches. I love that Star Trek. That's like two episodes, but... <laughs> Andrew will hear you. <laughs> it's a wonderful punk. <laughs> Someone's suggesting we bury the punk next to Chester. No, Chester isn't buried. Chester is uh, someone is cremated in an urn, by the way. And for you people that are keeping track, uh, my uh, ex-mother-in-law has kept Chester's ashes. And when she passes, she has told people she wants the ashes uh, buried with her. There you go. All right. Someone wants Patrick Monaki to drive it down to uh, Louisiana. 
Uh, someone wants to know if Andy Gore's been having good luck ever since he gave me the punk. Someone is saying give uh, the punk a proper burial. And, of course, Pat from California, send the punk to Scott Peterson. Oh, Jesus. He knows how to get rid of him. <clears throat> oh. Melanie from Cleveland says, uh, don't go dig digging up any bones. I'll write a spell for you. It will take care of everything. And, yes, you can find spells and witchcraft books at Borders. Or go to a metaphysical shop. A few candles, a spice, and a chant, and it will be okay. What I'm kind of spice? Witch. Is it sage? Yeah, what am I going to use? A little cinnamon? If you guys want to uh, send Oregano. In... Oregano. Take the fetus. Now add a little <laughs> oregano. This is going to be wonderful. We're going to get rid of all the evilness that has entered your life. Take this little... Now a little cumin and some cinnamon on here. <laughs> wonderful. Now whisk the little guy up with some... What spice do you use? <laughs> yeah, you can't just... <laughs> now put the blender on for a pay. I got a really good spice that makes your pizza taste really good. Oh, maybe that'll it's work. It's kind of like a... I think it's called like a pizza spice. When you take the spice. bite out of the head that Jimmy described yesterday, it's uh, tasty. <laughs> it has a little uh, red pepper in it, and a little uh, oregano, and some other things. I don't think um, we'll be putting any Well, spices. if you guys want to send in your chance, maybe we could pick the best one. A chant? Is that what she wa said, or... Yeah, do we ch do a, a chant? Someone says, um, uh, "Rev from Whackbag, I'll be seeing Andy at the end of the month at the Chiller Theater Convention." That's all well and good, but I'm not trusting anyone else. Says if you like, I'll personally deliver no. it to him. You know that I uh, know him, and I'm a faithful O and A fan. I wouldn't lie to you. No, we understand, and I, I would truly trust Rev to do this, but uh, I don't think that that works because then it would be <laughs> Opie breaking the chain. By giving it to Rev, right. who then gives it back, so Rev gets rid of the bad luck, but Opie still has it because you broke the chain. And what if Rev is crossing the street and all of a sudden just kind of trips? Oh, boy. Hey, it happens. Spull that. Exactly. By How the way, clean that up? the punk is now breathing Stop. nicely. God damn it, I looked at it. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, one of those seats where the listeners kind of take a look at us as we broadcast our show? The pickled punk is sitting up nice. All is good with the world, at least for this moment. Oh, God, could you please get rid of that thing? Oh, my God, why did you take it out of the box? It had to get put it back in the box. <laughs> the